was so big Operation iDroid here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix the forbidden or blank page error that many users are experiencing using New Gamepad. For those that don't know, New Gamepad is a new emulator that allows you to play games like Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, Game Boy Advance, PSP and much more. And I released an amazing tutorial on it this past weekend which a lot of you guys really seemed to enjoy. The support was just insane. It had over 50,000 views, 1500 likes and it was just continuing to grow. However, a couple days ago the developers of the application decided to shut down the application for only those that are in China, which is a shame because there's tons of users using this application all around the world and thus the forbidden or blank page error began to occur for many users. So with that being said, I have found a fix for this issue and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to solve it. So if you're excited to learn how to start using new gamepad again, please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it. But now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, quickly before we begin, I would like to give a big shout out to Twitter user Z73S for assisting me in figuring this out. With that being said, many users are experiencing this problem when they open new gamepad that it's just a blank page or they get a forbidden pop-up. So with that being said, to fix that, what you want to do is go ahead and head to the app store. And once you arrive at the app store, you're going to search in the search VPN, or you can simply search the actual name of the application we'll be installing, as well as there'll be a link in the description below. But the application is the one that you see here. It's Hotspot Shield Free VPN Proxy. So you can go ahead and click on that and begin to install it. Once the application is installed, we're actually going to install a few additional things to get this working. So this may take some time depending on your internet, but it should not take too long as the application is rather small. With that being said, once you open the application, you'll get a screen like so, and it'll ask you if you'd like to buy the service. However, you do not need the pro to actually use it, so you can just exit at the top right hand corner. Once it gives you this prompt though, you do want to install the profile and click allow so that it installs the VPN. Once you put your password, it'll give you the go ahead and you can click got it. Once you do that, you want to scroll on the bottom to the left until you find China and wait till it says connected. Once it says connected, we'll be good to go. At the top left hand corner of your device, you'll see that it now says VPN. And when you open new gamepad, you may still get a blank page as you'll see I'll get here. However, to actually get games, you can go ahead and just search whatever you'd like and then it'll activate the VPN and it'll start working as if you're in China because for some reason the developers decided to only allow people to use this application if they're in China. So as you can see once I searched Pokemon it is now working. If it doesn't work for you and you already did the VPN a lot of users have reported that deleting the application and reinstalling it does work for them as well but it should work just fine just as it is for me here. So once you have the VPN installed, you will be able to download games just like normal. So make sure to keep the VPN on until you download the game and play it once as you're going to see that I'm going to do here. This is very simple and is the only way at the moment that this application will work. It's a shame that the developers decided to do this and limit users from other places around the world. But I guess it is what it is. I hope you guys are happy with this fix and with that being said, the rest of this video is going to be showing you how to get games um, using a computer like I showed in my last tutorial, but this way is much easier. So if you have access to a computer and would like to get games on new gamepad, I highly recommend that you learn this method. But with that being said, as you can see, once you have your game installed and running, you can go ahead and turn off the VPN. If you do not have the VPN on, you will not be able to search and download games. So whenever you want to search and download games, make sure to turn the VPN on. But if you already have a game downloaded and just want to play, then you do not have to turn the VPN on. 
as you can see I'm playing here now without the VPN being on. But anyways, like I mentioned, the rest of this tutorial will be for users that have access to a computer, so if you do not, then that's pretty much it. Be sure to leave a like before you go, and make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel, and share this video with a friend if they're having the same issue, and I'll see you all in my next tutorial. Nevertheless, if you have a computer and you want to learn how to get any game online onto New Gamepad, the first thing you want to do is install at least one game of the console that you'd like to get the other game from. So for example, I want to get Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure onto my iOS device, so I'm going to download at least one GBA game. Now the beginning of this process may seem very similar to the one that I showed in my last tutorial, but trust me, this one is much easier. I'm honestly not even quite sure if you have to do this step right here of installing a game of the same console, but for me, that's how it worked, and just to play it safe, I'd recommend that you do that as well. Nevertheless, once you have that done, you want to head to your computer and search for the game that you'd like. You can get it from doperoms.com or any other ROM website that you use. It doesn't matter what type of game it is, as long as it's one of the games that New Gamepad can play that will, of course, all be linked in the description below. So as you can see, I'm just downloading this game right here and hopefully you guys are doing the same. And of course, if you already have your game and you have iExplorer, then you can skip ahead to where it says on screen now. But you will need iExplorer, so if you do not have it, it works for Mac and PC, whichever one you have. Go ahead and download it and then open the download file and follow the installation process that it gives you so that you can install iExplorer on your computer. The process is almost the same for Mac and PC, so I'm sure you'll be able to follow this tutorial easily. When you have iExplorer downloaded, you want to go ahead and make sure that your iOS device is connected to the computer via a lightning cable or whatever the case may be and then go ahead and open iExplorer as you're going to see me do here. Once you have iExplorer open, you do not need the registered version. You can go ahead and continue with the demo, which will work just fine, and go to the apps section. Now, the different thing here is that you want to go ahead and open new gamepad, go to documents, but instead, you're going to go to the My ROM section, and then here you're going to click on the folder of the console of the game you just downloaded, which, as I mentioned in my case, is Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure, a Game Boy Advance game, so I'm just going to go ahead and drop that in that folder, and once I do that, I just want to confirm that Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure is in the right folder so that when I return to New Gamepad, um, it'll begin to work. But make sure New Gamepad is not open in the multitasking bar before you open it again. So, like I mentioned, you do not need to have your VPN on to do this, to play games that you already have, and as you can see, Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure is now in my New Gamepad and able to be played, which in my opinion, this method is much easier than the one that I showed in my last tutorial to get games using a computer and of course like I mentioned this will work for any game from any website and that's the end of the tutorial if you found this video helpful please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it as well as if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe as I make awesome tutorials like this one every week and with all that being said as always thanks for watching Thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation.